Hi viewers! Welcome again to Handy Dandy Husband. What do you do about those pesky flash drives that don't come with any caps or where they do come with caps but you lose the cap? Well, I've got a solution for you and that is to create your own dust caps. And by creating your own dust caps, you not only increase the life of the flash drive by making sure no debris gets into the tip, but also, even if you do lose it, it's not a big deal. You don't have to worry about it because you're going to always make more. Let's begin. The tools that you'll need to create your own dust caps for your flash drives are the following. Tape, either scotch tape or some electrical tape. I've got three colors here and scotch tape. The flash drive where you need the dust cap for and some scissors or alternatively a cutting board and a Zacto blade if you don't have the scissors or prefer to cut with a cutting board and Zacto blade. Now I already have a scotch tape dust boot for this flash drive but what I'm going to do is create a red dust boot for the same flash drive and of course you can choose whatever color you want and the beauty of this uh, method is that in, if you have a very important flash drive and the color purple or whatever color the flash drive is isn't uh, the suitable color for you to designate it and you need it say red for very important or urgent then you can always change the dust cap to whatever color you need I mean this is just a limited sort of assortment of colors but uh, you can change it to whatever you'd like so let's start now I'm not going to do the scotch tape because I already have one Let's do it with this electrical tape that's colored. All right, let's begin the build of the dust proof cap. First, what you'll need to do is cut a bit of the tape, two or three inches of the tape. I just lay it with the sticky side up. Then cut a corresponding piece, maybe slightly longer. And place this with the sticky side down on top of the sticky side of the other tape so that both pieces are stuck together. And now what you'll have is the tape which isn't sticky at all except for one end of it. I'm just gonna straighten that end out. There you go. Alright. Now I wouldn't worry too much about an edge like this which is slightly sticky because we can always trim that later. Uh, but the most important part is to have a little bit of a sticky end here and no sticky end on the other side. And I'm just going to trim that side because that's not straight. There we go. That's better. Next step is to place the tape around the flash drive and Keep it as parallel to one end as possible. That was the opposite direction. Do it in the opposite direction so the sticky side can stick to its opposing end. And make sure that when you place it onto the flash drive there is a little bit of movement. As you can tell I'm moving it back and forth. You don't want it too tight because then it will be hard for the cover to go on or stay on. Okay, now that it's on, you can see that it can come off and on. I'm just going to fold it down, and so now 
this edge here I'm going to trim so that there's no sticky end out here. Try to be as neat as possible. I mean, it's just a dust cover, so I mean, you don't need to be perfect. But the neater you are, the less of uh, this end you'll see on the end of the uh, flash drive. And now what you have is it's completely covered on all the ends except for the very tip, and that's the most important aspect of this. What you do now is I want to trim this so that it's straight, and I'm just going to ever so lightly take off a bit, maybe less than a mil half a millimeter. And now I have an end with a little bit of an overlap. Okay. What I'm going to do next is wherever there's a corner here, 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 and here, I'm going to give it a little bit of a snip. I'm going to take the cover off and I'm going to trim the shorter ends off. in together like that. And last part, I'm going to take another bit of tape, cut about two inches worth. Then what you do, line it up on one end. Actually, center it. Close the tops down, tighten it, and trim it on the other end. And the best way to do that is removing it. And now that you have this piece on, take the corners here, just snip them so that they wrap around both ends. And seal it off. And if you hold it in place, There you have your dust cover. Now, if there's bits, dog ears I call them, sticking out, you can trim those. Well, there you go. You have your dust cover. And if you lose it, so be it. You can always make another one out of scotch tape. And the great thing is, is you can interchange them. If something has been recorded on the flash drive, you can put in a different colored flash, uh, flash drive dust cover boot. And if it's empty, you put on a different color, translucent perhaps, red if it's urgent or important, but you can't, you can't erase. Though rudimentary, thus saving you money and the environment. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave comments below. Otherwise, please leave a like if this helped you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.